We have completed a uh, year-end technical stop of ATLAS, of the ATLAS experiment. This time it was a rather short stop of only th essentially three months. We did not have to do uh, too many repair work, normal uh, maintenance work. And so we are looking forward now to the exciting data taking period, which uh, starts now. So 2018 is our last year of data taking before we shut down for several years. So it's a really exciting time and we need to make the most of that data. So we're going to be spending, our primary focus is still on um, understanding the Higgs boson. So as you know, we recently discovered the Higgs boson, but there's a lot about it we need to study. So we've been going to be taking as much data as possible in order to understand that. Um, and we're also going to be looking for physics in places that we haven't seen it before. So in 2018, uh, so we are going to take uh, <clears throat> another uh, set of large amount of data, like 70 inverse femtobang, which corresponding to 40% uh, greater than the last year. And uh, it may be this number is still standing on the safe side, and we hope that uh, we get more uh, than that. In any case, uh, so it's quite a large amount of data, and it will be a very exciting and important year in 2018. And uh, something special with respect to the last year is for every collision, like uh, so lower uh, pile up of events uh, than uh, last year. So it is also good uh, for the phys precise physics analysis. So last year we need to run uh, with under very high uh, pile up condition. And however, uh, this year uh, with putting many larger number of bunches in the machine, and on the other hand, the pile up, number of pile up uh, events uh, becomes less than the last year. So the situation is uh, quite preferable uh, on our side, I mean the detector side. So I'm pretty sure that uh, we are able to take uh, data in a better, better condition uh, than the last year. So I think one of the really fun parts about what's going to happen in 2018 is that um, we're going to have, the, since when we uh, turned on at 13 PV, the focus was on exploiting this additional energy that we have and looking for things that were very heavy or very massive. And so um, we are kind of reaching a point where that's not the most exciting thing anymore. The most exciting thing now is to look for extremely rare things or things that we're just not sensitive to anymore. So there's a lot of different types of new physics out there that our normal algorithms and our normal detection tech, um, techniques are not sensitive to. So we have to go back and we have to redesign our algorithms, redesign our um, search strategies such that we can find very rare things. So we can find particles that might be dark matter candidates or connected to what dark matter is um, that will travel in the detector and decay somewhere. So the STIRA model is a very rich and complex um, theory. What we need to do is measure all of those interactions at this very um, high energy that we haven't done before. So many of our standard model measurements, measure precision measurements of cross sections of particles that we already know exist, can tell us a lot about the structure of the standard model and we have not yet made those measurements. And so a big focus will also be um, on really making these beautiful precise measurements of the standard model so that we can understand this fundamental part of uh, particle physics. So since we collected such a large data set, it has a lot of potential, so please stay tuned. Um, we will, of course, do the easy part first to look for easy signatures, but then it will take some time uh, to address more complex scenario and uh, also to do precision measurements and um, control the systematic uncertainties very well.